Hi, this is Brian, and here's an example of a front-end collision. As you can see, the hood is damaged on its crush zone. The headlamp is cracked. Once you have the bumper off, you need to check to see if there was a distance sensor behind that emblem that's missing. You also have front impact sensors. There's four of them. You need to check the wiring. Here's a good example of what it looks like when it's fine. There's also often one-time use uh, clips that keep it in place, and here's an outside shot. You also have to keep an eye out for signal lamps and fog lamps. Going behind the bumper assembly, here's a shot of a damaged reinforcement and also the condenser and radiator have been damaged. The radiator support has also been buckled in a couple areas. Wiring for the engine wiring harness needs to be checked. Connectors, uh, also that front rail assembly is definitely pushed in on that side. Here you also see the underside of a hood and you'll see that it's damaged on these crush zones which are designed to absorb impact. Uh, you also will see these information labels that are one-time use and need to be replaced in the case of a hood replacement. You'll also see the components that go directly behind the radiator support, such as the windshield washer reservoir. Uh, here's another shot of uh, front assembly rail damage. You'll see that there are hoses and other AC lines that go right there. Uh, the engine assembly is not too far back. This one has the front end caps, uh, which sometimes can be replaced separately. Uh, from the entire rail assembly. You'll also see evidence of where the fuse box sits and other apron components there on the sides um, once you get the radiator and condenser out of the way. And then you will see here in the next shot about how there's damage into the apron itself on the upper rail. This is a more severe uh, collision damage on the front. Now in this case, pretty much everything needs to be replaced. The hood is clearly shot. You can see there's uh, you know, the numerous components that are pushed. Everything needs to be addressed uh, and removed for access. You'll also see here on this shot that the fenders are even pushed back behind the doors, making it near impossible to open that passenger front door. Uh, you also will keep in mind that the windshield may have been damaged. Uh, you, in this case, you, this is a shot of the vehicle having a hood bra or a clear protector uh, that would also typically go over the fenders. Sometimes they go onto the front bumper assemblies too. The front tow cap is missing, and there are lower splash shields and sight shields that need to be addressed. Uh, once you get all the components out of the way, you really know where you stand much better. Uh, when you have this, uh, keep in mind that there might be front impact sensors uh, that have been damaged. They might be lights on the dash. And uh, here going in further, uh, you will see on this shot that the upper tie bar on that passenger side where the headlamp normally sits is definitely pushed out of place and those components need to be uh, replaced. Uh, you will also know, notice here, going further in, that the when the radiator and condenser are removed, uh, the fluids, the coolants and, and antifreeze need to be drained in order not to make a big mess once you have removed them. That's why you have a drain pan below to do just that. Here is damage to an intake manifold, which connects to the engine assembly. And you also have to notice that uh, these hoses uh, can be pinched and or um, punctured and may also need replacements. Uh, you also will see here higher up uh, behind uh, many components there is a strut tower or known as the upper apron assembly. These components can be pushed back and or crushed from the front impact of the upper rails and components. Oftentimes when you have a large front end collision you'll have airbags blown and there'll be uh, numerous airbags that can go off, uh, both for the passenger and driver side, knee airbags, side airbags, uh, and other ones that are always being added as time goes on. Uh, in this case, you'll see an example of the knee airbag also being deployed. Oftentimes, the clock spring that goes in that steering wheel will need to be replaced along with that driver front airbag. Uh, you'll also see other components of your instrument panel come loose uh, during the accident. This could be from somebody's knee. This could be from the airbags. Uh, it could be from numerous factors. So those things have to be addressed further. Um, a lot of times you will see the inner trim panels on the sides removed. It's because the, the seat belt has tightened up and needs replacement and those components pop loose when it grips you for the impact to try to protect you. Uh, this is a case where it's occurred on both sides. Sometimes there'll be airbags that actually come out of the seats themselves on the sides, and there are sensors and components that often run under the seats uh, that will address if there are 
it's a high impact collision taking place. Um, now you go further. I just want to thank you all for watching and hope you watch the next video. Have a great day.